And something I want to talk about more specifically, we kind of brushed on it in a previous episode, but something called SMART goals. And I know you said you had all of them and you were super ready for this. So I, I am. So we actually, I run a Keto Decoded membership and this is one of the first things that we teach our members. Um, I also have a, a uh, journal on Amazon and one of the first things that I talk about are those SMART goals because they are so important. So when you're thinking of SMART goals, you're not just thinking of being a brainiac. You are actually, it's an acronym for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. So a lot of people go into weight loss saying, mm, I want to lose 20 pounds. And they think they're being specific because they're saying they want to lose 20 pounds, but that's not really something you have control over. That's something you can take steps to reach 20 pounds eventually, but you want to get more specific on the steps that you're going to take to hit those 20 pounds. So, you know, for us, I follow a low carb lifestyle. So that might be lowering your carbs. So something that you can measure is eating only 100 grams of carbs every single day for the next 30 days. So you're giving yourself a time frame. It's something that's realistic for most people. Um, it's something you can measure whether or not you know, how many days out of 30 did you actually hit that goal? And it's obviously very specific because you're saying you want to eat 100 grams of carbs for 30 days. Yeah, I think the biggest one is the A. <laughs> yeah. I think you said uh, achievable. I say attainable. It's the same thing. But okay. it's remember that realist. Let's make it attainable. Let's not try to lose 300 pounds when, <laughs> in five weeks. Not happening. <laughs> yeah, is it the diet industry that like makes people have these unrealistic expectations or where are people getting these unrealistic expectations from? <laughs> that is a great question. And I think we should do a whole episode on it one day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where, Where is this coming from? Please, somebody teach me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Because I mean, before I, I got all this down, I had them too. You know, I wanted to have lose like the 50 pounds I gain in a month and that's not realistic, not even close to being realistic. <laughs> I want to just continue breaking that, kind of go over the R, the T, and see how the people can adapt that in their lives too. Um, so being realistic, like we just talked about, you can't have these big goals. So like I teach keto, for example, and a lot of people see a lot of people lose big weight on keto. And it does happen. But that's not realistic for most people. You have to look at what's realistic for your body. So while someone can maybe drop 20 pounds in a month, even that's a lot, um, but it does happen. What about you? Is that like, what if you only drop four pounds? Are you going to get mad about that? No, because that's what's realistic for your body. Even though you're following keto, which is supposed to be this plan where you drop all this weight, that's just not true for most people. And then timely just kind of what you were saying is setting that goal you can might lose 20 pounds in a year but uh, <laughs> 20 pounds in a week not yeah. timely or efficient and make sure you set a specific time i think that's an important aspect if you're cutting out something like a soda for example we were saying make sure you say starting tomorrow i'm gonna cut out one soda and i'm gonna do that for the next week you're giving yourself a deadline yeah, and you want to give yourself a deadline, something that's in the foreseeable future, because for some people, it could take you a year to lose 20 pounds. That happens for a lot of people. Um, so you want to set something you can do in like the next week or the next month, something in the foreseeable future, that you are actually going to stick with it. Because, you know, if you just give yourself a deadline for the next year, you'll probably fall off track. Whereas if you give yourself a deadline for the next week, that's something that's easier to keep up with. And then once you have that success that you, you actually trusted yourself to follow through and you did, that'll start building up on more successes. Yeah. And you kind of mentioned the small steps philosophy, which is a really big thing. You could see, uh, I want to make a million dollars or I want to lose a hundred pounds. I mean, it could be anything. This doesn't have to just be weight loss. This doesn't have to just be fitness related. New Year's resolutions or even goal setting can be anything. The sky's the limit on it. But <laughs> If the Wright brother said, hey, we're going to fly tomorrow and just reached for that, they probably never would have flown. But instead, they said, let's figure out how to do make the wheels first. Let's figure out how to do the wing. Well, however process they had, they set these very small goals to eventually 
it became a booming airline industry that we have today. So it's something you have to take a step back from. And I think that's a lot. I really have a strong feeling, a lot of goals, because I know from personal experience, have, tend to play a lot on our emotions. And that emotional set where we go in with good behavior and we're saying, you know what? This is going to make me happy doing this, 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 and this, and this. And we set these unrealistic expectations for ourselves, unrealistic goals that we fall off the bag one and then we get depressed and we feel down. And then we, it prevents us from doing it again the following year. And yeah. And, and I think, you know, people do get upset because they are setting these unrealistic goals that they'll never reach. And then they're blaming themselves. Whereas if they were to take those baby steps, just get one small success, that's always going to lead you to doing the next right thing that will keep adding on and you'll keep getting more successes. So when you have these smaller steps to build off of, that's when you reach your goal. Not when you just shoot for the stars and you don't really know how to get there. <laughs> you need the baby steps to help you figure out how to get there. Hey guys, if you liked that video, don't forget, hit that like button. And if you want to see more great content, don't forget, subscribe to our show and make sure those notifications are turned on.